Hello. In this video, we're going to go over linear approximation. We're going to do number one in this video, and for another video, we'll do number two. Linear approximation will be on the AP test. It's not very difficult and pretty self-explanatory. First, we start with our f of x. We are going to be starting with our function. We are going to want to plug the value of approximation, value of a, find f prime of that approximation, and multiply that times that x value we are looking for, minus a. All right, so let's jump straight into it. For number one, our f of x, we can clearly see, is x cubed. That is our f of x. And the, the number we are clearly approximating to is a equals 3, when x equals 3.03. .03. So that's what we're going to be solving for. First thing we're going to do is find f of a. f of a is just plugging in whatever a is into x. And in this situation, our f of a is 3. So we're going to solve for f of 3. This turns into 3 cubed or 27. Next, we're going to find f prime of a. To find f prime of a first, we need to find the derivative of f of x f of x is equal to x cubed. f prime of x is equal to, and we notice we have to derive it, it's a power rule. So we're gonna multiply the exponent to the front, subtract one from the exponent as well, and there we go. There's our derivative. So now I need to plug in f of a into that, which is f prime of three, and we will plug in three times three squared, which will also get us 27. So now we're going to plug it into our function. f of 3.03 .03 is approximately f of a, which is 27, plus f prime of a, we're looking up here, by the way, f prime of a, or this equation here, f prime of a, which is 27, times 3.03 .03 minus 3. All right, we're going to just plug all of that into our into our calculator. Well, you know, step by step. 27 plus 27 equal times 0 0.03. Multiply 0 0.03 times 27. 27 is equal to plus 0 0.81. 27.81 is our approximation for number one. This is the problem we did. In another video, we'll cover number two. And as you can see, these problems aren't too difficult. First, find f of a, then find f prime of a, and all we're going to do is plug and chug. If you have any specific questions or problems you would like me to cover, just send me an email and I'm happy to cover them. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great day.